Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they didn't like that. Uh, turns out three circles back to back is pretty rough. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Before we jump into today's deck and talk about this one, just want to remind you if you would like to, please subscribe. It's a great way to support the channel. It is a great way to enter all of our giveaways as well. One of many ways to enter. All details can be found on our website. We've got an article for our Kamigawa giving away giveaway going on right now uh, at itresolvesmtg.com. We also have a video here on our homepage on YouTube if you would like to check that out. There are multiple ways to enter. Subscribing is only one of them. But let's talk about today's deck, guys. This is brought to you by MTG Arena Original Decks. This is not my own build. Uh, however, I've looked at a, new, a, a number of different versions of the Selesnia Enchantments build, and this one really is the one that kind of caught my eye, and so I wanted to give this one a shot. We'll probably look at others down the line, if I had to guess, uh, but truthfully, that Hollowed Haunting with Sigarda Splendor comp, I mean, it, there's so much to love about this list. So, first and foremost, go check out MTG Are uh, Arena Original Decks, uh, fantastic YouTube channel, much, much bigger than we are, much more successful, but a very, very good deck builder. So. Let's talk about it. Uh, first thing you'll notice, it does have 61 cards, as is the trademark uh, of MTG Arena uh, original decks. But this is obviously built around enchantments. We've got the Generous Visitor as the one drop here. It's a great way to build counters on any of your creatures over time. Uh, and the great thing about this is, again, it does hit any creature. The first time I played with this, I thought it was just itself. But it can actually go on Toskis. It can go on the Naturalist. It can go on anything. So really, really cool there. Uh, we do have Circle of Confinement, gives us a little bit of removal, of course, nothing too crazy. And then the Naturalist is here as a 2-2 lifelinking, uh, cost cheapening kind of thing for the entire deck. Uh, obviously topping out at 4, it's actually pretty easy to get things down to not that much mana, so this can be a very efficient deck as well. Uh, Era of Enlightenment is a new enchantment for us here. It's Scry 2 on the first Saga counter, uh, you gain 2 life on the second, and then of course on the flip, you get the 2-2 two, two with first strike, which again, with these counters that the generous visitor is gonna be throwing out, or even things like the uh, Lord effect on the wedding festivity, you can really do some damage with that first strike and make it very difficult for the opponent to, to fight through it. Uh, we do have borrowed time again with that circle of confinement. It gives us a little bit of extra removal, hits any permanent, of course, which is really good. We already kind of talked about wedding announcement too. This is gonna spit out creatures. It's also gonna Lord up our board fantastic celestis is going to ramp us and hopefully give us a little bit of life gain as well as some looting if we need it uh which is really good and then the restoration is here as well this is going to throw basically search out a planes from our deck so a little bit of deck thinning smoothing out our our draws as well as our land drops uh on the second one you can discard a card when you do return target permanent card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped now crucially that's that's that just comes straight out to the battlefield uh, it's also any permanent, which is really important because, again, it could be a circle of confinement. It could be an era of enlightenment. It could be a naturalist. It could be whatever we need it to be. Uh, and so that could really do a lot for us. On the flip side, it's a 3-4 with vigilance. Uh, when it attacks or blocks, you create a 1-1 one, one spirit creature token. Crucially, those 1-1s one, hopefully will be a little bit bigger thanks to the things uh, like wedding festivity here. Uh, and then, of course, in the four drop slot, we've got a number of really good cards. Some of my favorites and some of the best, I think, in these two colors. Hollowed Haunting is here as the full four. This is going to spit out tokens for us and uh, hopefully just keep our board kind of going in the right direction. We've got Sigarda Splendor. This is hopefully going to uh, gain us a little bit of life for every white card that we play, but then also potentially draw us extra cards to really kind of keep us going. And then in that card draw department, we also have Toski Bearer of Secrets, which is just a phenomenal card. And again, if we can get this powered up even more, it makes it really hard to uh, deal with. Uh, nothing too exciting in the lands. I was curious though, we have 22 lands, so we are down from the standard 24 that you normally see, uh, but I do think you can go quite a bit lighter. We're trying to cheapen up our spells and keep things kind of uh, as efficient as possible. We do also have the Celestis for that ramp, so I like this deck. I think it's going to be a really, really good one. It's a relatively not straightforward deck by any means, but the enchantments list in general 
obviously you're just trying to gain that value over time and so we're going to try and do that here again guys not my list mtg arena uh original deck list is the creator here please go check them out link down below but let's go ahead and jump into game one all right guys and here we are for game number one here now this is a bit of a slower hand aside from that generous visitor but i think it's one that we can definitely keep uh hopefully this pans out okay um generous visitor really wants to be out on the board on turn one and start gaining that advantage as quickly as possible um we do have the borrowed time here which hopefully can deal with something on the opponent's side as well it looks like they may not have a uh, a land for us here which is actually really helpful so i think what we'll do is just throw this out and attack in make it kind of simple we do need another white source for that cigar splendor that would really be beneficial for us uh and i'm curious to see what they're up to it could be another celestia enchantments my assumption is that's probably a doom scar uh which is not great but that's fine let's go ahead and scry two here we'll see what we hit this does throw a counter here so we want to do this post or pre-combat excuse me um and i think we just want to throw both of these on the bottom again we're really looking for land at the moment uh specifically a white land although anything will do because we can then of course get toski down and uh this being indestructible does help out against the doom scars and things like that so we'll see what happens we also get to gain a little bit of life here i feel like i have a hair from my beard in my mouth for, the, for those of you who have a beard you know what i'm talking about it's annoying um all right let's see what they're gonna do here kind of curious they could doom scar if they do have it which does get rid of the visitor which is our only real pressure at the moment however this does flip at some point uh, and so they are going to have to consider that. Instead, they're going to play an Orin Reef Ooze, which is fine by me. We're going to gain a little bit of life. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just uh, Circle of Confinement here. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Sorry. That tripped me up the last time, actually. Uh that ability gets thrown on the stack and i was thinking i have to select for the, the circle of confinement that's something that happens a lot with me is missing triggers like that but that's okay <laughs> uh we could have used borrowed time but i think we use the circle of confinements not because it's more mana efficient i'd actually rather use all of my mana this turn um but instead because you know we we're gonna find other things that that borrowed time is gonna want to hit so just in time, we go ahead and get this out. I'm going to go ahead and throw that wedding announcement down. Get that little 1-1. One, one. And then next turn, we're pretty well set up. We can attack in twice or with these two creatures, draw an extra card, hopefully hit that land. If they have a Doom Scar, they get two of our creatures, sure. But we've got some long-term value here that really is going to be a problem for them. And this is all good, but we actually can just borrow time on that. <laughs> Uh, which I do really like. Now, Toski is very... Ooh, all of this is very, very uh, tempting, we will say. Um, hmm. What do we want to do here? It might just be the Cigar to Splendor, although Hollowed Haunting also looks really good. Hmm. I'm going to Cigar to Splendor. I think we can go this route. Um, I will attack in. We'll see what they want to do. Um, we have first strike, and so we do have that going for us. If they have like a snakeskin veil or whatever the new, I think it's a Tamiyo something or other, they could technically sneak in a kill here. But looks like they're not willing to, which is fine. Um, now this triggers at the beginning of our upkeep yeah okay so we may have to throw away a token here just to keep our life total where it needs to be so we can draw that extra card but i'm super cool with that um <laughs> that doesn't really matter to me adversary is very good here they can tap twice uh which is very awesome but again we've got that borrowed time that's gonna come down at some point um and here we just get to block just to keep ourselves going here um so we do get the extra card draw and we get another borrowed time that's really good all right let's go ahead and do this I'm gonna gain a life let's get that off the field um i think we just attack with a 2-2 again we kind of need to keep our life total pretty high here uh and so i'm all too happy to let that uh work the way it needs to we get an extra blocker here as well so i feel like this is a, a solid place to be 
we do have that double hollowed haunting which is gonna come down i mean at some point very soon <laughs> and uh hopefully deal some massive damage i kind of want them to invest in the mana for the ranger class and then we can borrow time it and just kind of waste a lot of what they're doing um but we'll see interesting I had two or more want to create a token that's a copy of it okay that's interesting um i think we'll just throw one token at it we could technically double block it if we wanted but i don't really think we need to um now the question is do we want to borrow time here uh we certainly can alternatively we could just play a hollowed haunting and take a hit for a turn and then theoretically get some really really good stuff down the following turn i guess we can play naturalist into borrowed time as well uh which seems quite good I think I like that play. Let's do that. Let's get Naturalist down. Let's get Borrowed Time down. Uh, and I think we do get that Jelly out of there. The reason being, it doesn't technically die, uh, which is relevant. I'm going to attack in with this. Um, keep the pressure going just enough. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the right way to do it. Uh, because eventually, like, we have lethal next turn, so they they have to reconsider attacks here at some point. And they can throw all the mana they want into this, but that, that's fine at this point. We're at 25 life, we're gaining more every turn. Like, I'm not that stressed about that. Yeah. Um, I think we just blocked there, that's fine. Alright, so they do have a Doom Scar here, I'm assuming. Um, we do get to throw that down, though. Hmm. So I'm going to throw the Toski out and attack in with the... Uh, the reason being we get to draw extra cards here, <laughs> just for the sake of drawing extra cards. We're pretty ahead on life, so it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, and yeah, they can Doomscar into the fall. Uh, which would get rid of our... That that does exile our Toski. Uh, and so that is a good way to do it. But we still get a free block here. And... Uh, I mean... They got one. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, there's the Doom Scar. Like I said, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then they've got this. We are going to have to sack this. This is the only down... Well, maybe not. We can do this properly. All right, if we do this, and we do this, uh, we can put the counter here, and then that's what we have to sack. Uh, they have to block here. Yeah, so we have to kill the visitor, and we get to keep the Toski. <laughs> I love that little generous visitor. It's such a cool card. Yes, we did it. That was amazing. That was such an interesting game, honestly. I think we played it relatively well. Could have potentially maybe won a little sooner, but I really liked that. Let's jump into game two, guys. All right, guys, and here we are for game number two. This is definitely not a keep, unfortunately. If one of these was white, I would totally go for it, but we just can't there. Uh, this is okay. It's not ideal, um, but I do think we keep. I think it's definitely a keep. And unfortunately, I think it has to be one of these four drops that we throw back. Um, and it's probably that. And we have to kind of lead on the overgrown farmland here because we do want to get this down at some point. Excuse me. Um, this also allows us the circle of confinement if we see fit, uh, but it doesn't look like we need to right away. Um, looks like this is potentially just going to be a mono green list, which is scary. Not the end of the world, though. Don't really have anything to do. We just have to uh, hang them with our visitor. Would love a white source. I think a white source would probably be the best. All right. Well, circle of confinement's coming down. Throw a target or a uh, tar a counter there, and then we get the attack in here. I do like the resilience of this list, by the way. Um, not only in the fact that Hollowed Haunting, of course, is just a resilient card to a number of different things, but um oh actually here i guess we do want this uh but on top of that it's just like you get so many things you can do uh with all these little enchantment removal but the synergy is really really strong with this and um that's always kind of a classic thing with enchantments anyway but it's just really fun 
cool. Uh, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to do it this way. Oops, nope. Uh, let's throw the counter here. Let's get that off of the field. Uh, and then this comes in here. This comes in here. I think that maximizes the damage that we could have done in the way that we did. Uh, and we also get that card draw there. So that's really helpful. They have another Ren. We have another circle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> feel a little bad doing this, but uh, I just think this is the right call. So we're going to put the counter there. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they didn't like that. Uh, turns out three circles back to back is pretty rough. That was awesome. Uh, let's move into a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. And, uh, you know, I think we can keep this. It's a little un unexciting in the beginning, uh, but we do have the enough removal here. And then, of course, that Toski to draw us some cards later. We get to lead on the farmland as well. So now we are automatically have both colors we need. We've got the double white that we will need. So I, I feel okay about this. Oh no, it's ninjutsu. Okay. Um, well, in that instance, we take every opportunity, I think, to get rid of stuff. Uh, so they cannot just get free attacks in. I think that's pretty crucial. I would love to revisit ninjutsu with uh, more of a Nashi theme because... I did throw Nashi in the ninjutsu deck that I started with, but I think there's some some better things out there. Um, yep, just gonna keep keep removing stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's just the right option to get as much of these out of here as possible. Uh, obviously, they will get something down eventually, but uh, Toski is a nice blocker for us because it is just indestructible. The flying is really the problem that we can't really get around. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think we just throw Toski out here. Be as mana efficient as possible. Also just get a nice indestructible threat out uh, that can freely kind of block whatever we need to. Um, remember, the creature has to be unblocked for you to ninjutsu out anything. So... Uh, as long as we keep them at one creature, as best we can at least, that's going to be good for us. They do have the Fading Hope, so they are going to be able to get something out here, I assume. Um, curious to see what it is. No. Okay. Works for me. Uh, they're just going to take the hit for three at us. I mean, hey, that's, that's good. It's very good. There's the Wind Robber. That's going to be a bit more of a problem for us, of course. Um, but that's fine. Do we take the opportunity to drop this? I think we do. Um, the reason being, eventually, we get the flying and the vigilance and all that stuff. And, like, we have held off a lot of the pressure that we would expect from this deck in the early turns of the game. So I'm just kind of hoping to, to get some long-term value here. May not be great. We know they have fading hopes, so like they can just bounce the tokens, but here they're definitely ninjutsuing out something. I have to imagine, right? Like, they've got to. It's a pretty cool matchup, though, because really both of these mechanics, like the enchantments deck as well as the ninjutsu deck, are both very big right now. Uh, there's that six damage already. They get the treasure tokens. They can now basically do whatever they need to do. Um, yep. That's good. I wish this was an enchantment that would trigger this, but it's not. All right, that's actually quite good. So both of these are enchantments. So we can do this. That gives us a token. And what we're doing again is just we're trying to clog up the board here at this point. We're not really trying to uh, kill anything. We're just trying to slow them down. The lifelink is also semi-relevant. Um, I think we'll drop this. Just so we, again, get extra tokens here. As many of them as we can get. That's what we want. Because if they're just one for wanting, like, fading hopes and little removal spells and stuff, we can kind of deal with that. Um, or at least outpace that. But they're going to spell pierce the wedding announcement. Okay. Well, we do still get the 2-2 at least, so that's helpful. Um, I'm kind of okay we didn't play this then, because I actually do kind of want to get this down. Uh, and... We don't really have anything we can get back yet, but we might. 
we'll see. This is a pretty awesome matchup. I'm kind of stoked for this. Uh, I do think we'll probably end up losing, but it's still a really sick matchup. So I do hope they attack with everything, but it looks like they're not, and they do get... Okay, so they do get those. That's a little frustrating, but... We got this. Don't even worry about it. I like that you can go land light with that Prosperous Thief, by the way, because, I mean, you notice they only have three lands. Granted, we only have four, but um, they're not really high on the land count, clearly. Land is actually kind of relevant and good, so I will take it. Um... Let's do this. Again, just trying to get as much out as we can get. This is also deck thinning a bit for us, which I think is relevant. We don't attack. I don't believe. Like, in 10 turns, they kill us. Potentially less than 10 if they can get something out here. So we got to be a little careful here. But we are going to get the Naturalist back, I believe. Yeah. And then on the reverse side, we, of course, get... Uh, the big three four vigilance so this is a this is kind of interesting i mean they're definitely in the driver's seat i think but we've got a good bit going for us let's see what they ninjutsu out i assume there's something no fascinating okay really would have thought they would have oh circle is actually quite good hmm so we can circle the wa the windfolk merfolk robber wow this we can merfolk we can circle of confinement to get the wind robber out that's very good uh sorcery spell this really doesn't apply that much to us though um i think we'll throw the celestis back let's get circle let's get the wind robber out of there all right, let's throw this down. Let's throw this down. We get a Prosperous Thief out. Perfect. And then we throw a Toasty down. All right. Shields are up. This is terrifying because they are going to get some good stuff in with this. I'm very nervous about that. But truthfully, they don't have a strong attack yet. That could change. Um, with Kaito, they can get the unblockable out, which is quite good. But crucially, if we get some extra enchantments here, we're in really good shape. All right, so this comes back down. Let's cigar to Splendor. Now everything has flying. <laughs> um, and we just win. Guys, we beat Ninjutsu. With Selesnia enchantments, that was a sick game, and that equates to an undefeated run with this list, as well as a rank up to gold tier two. Man, what a what a deck! Oh, this is great. Let's talk about this. All right, guys. So undefeated with Selesnia enchantments again, created not by me, but MTG Arena deck uh, or original decks. Please go check out that channel. It's phenomenal. Like 90,000 subs, amazing decks. It's just phenomenal phenomenal channel i would love to be on that level at some point but this is their deck not mine uh but it works it works extraordinarily well so please check this one out it was really really good and as you saw it's so resilient that was really the thing that really kind of hit me as we were going through those games is you know yeah doomscar sucks always gonna hate to have a doomscar come down when you are playing you know the little visitors and the naturalists and things like that but long term they're just there to help you kind of progress further into the game visitor gives you a little pressure and some counters to throw around of course which is always good and the naturalist cheapens things up but once you've got the stuff down it's really just about playing one or two spells per turn and keeping their board under wraps while you're just kind of automatically generating value on your side with things like the hollowed haunting with things like wedding announcement uh and of course cigar to splendor giving you that life gain as well as that card draw so all in all hmm Phenomenal. Absolute. 10 out of 10. Try it out. This was great. I really encourage you to test this one out. Go check out that other channel, though, because they do have plenty of other decks that you will want to try. And man, what a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll see you again very soon.